Hey folks, welcome to another day, another unboxing. And what I've got here is Dell's XPS 13 2 in 1, the 2019 edition. And so I wanted to unbox this for you real quick. It came in a bigger cardboard box. I'm not sure quite what the specs are on this, honestly, but let's open it up, shall we? Let me actually uh, walk you through the box real quick. It's very thin and uh, it's very beautifully done. And there's really not much information on the outside. So I have no idea which SKU this is. That's the mystery when you get a laptop to review is that you really don't know what you're getting most of the time. So let's open this up. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is a pretty, pretty case. So it's interesting because they have the laptop here, as you can see, and then they have a little box here. But really that's it. And then in the box, in the big cardboard box this came in separately, they have the charger. So XPS 13, and then here is one, plug it in, two, turn it on, do the Windows setup. I'm not gonna do any of this. I'm just gonna turn it on. Warranty, safety, and regulatory. This is interesting. It looks like recycled paper. Um, that's it. And so I'm not sure if there is anything else in this box. It doesn't look like it. So. Let's take a look at the laptop. Also at the rest of the box. So in the big cardboard box was a type C to type A adapter. Dell seems to include these with a lot of their laptops. Basically it's type A female, to type C male. Basically let's use any USB A device on a USB C connector. Works with phones and everything. It's very convenient to have around. There is also an AC adapter, which for some reason came in this big messy bundle. So it's clear the computer is brand new, but maybe this adapter isn't brand new since it came, you know, like a jungle like this in the bigger cardboard box just kind of thrown in. You can see it's got the US three prong standard uh, end, which goes with this. And then it's got the actual cable for the US. And then it does have USB-C on one end. So I have a lot of USB-C chargers. This is actually a pretty nice smaller one. I'm not quite sure how many watts. It says 45 right here. So that's pretty decent, but I bet you it'll charge faster with a 65 watt. And I have a 65 watt about this size. Anchor makes some good ones, but I've got a bunch of others. My MacBook charger will work. My Huawei MateBook charger will work. What's cool is that they include this as well. This is like a little adapter that plugs at the bottom here, right? And then you've got retractable two prong. You see that? You pull that up and you can plug that into the wall and not have to carry the gigantic cable. Anyway, here's the laptop. Let me uh, turn it around so it says Dell properly because that's important, isn't it? It looks like we go like this to unbox it. I'm actually gonna do this and try to peel this off so that it can be reused. I feel that if I'm gonna unpack things that are not mine, I might as well do it such that they can be reused. So that's it, it says XPS. It's all aluminum and plastic and beautiful. There it is, XPS. Yes, and on top, Dell. This is just a condensation from my fingers. Oh, this is a bit of dirt, goop. It's, I guess, just adhesive. So it says Dell, and you can see this is beautiful polished machined aluminum with uh, the hinges here. This is the uh, left-hand side, which has USB-C and looks like a micro SD card slot. And then the bottom has nothing, a couple, maybe a couple of microphones on the top edge of the display. And then the right-hand side is another USB-C and a headphone jack. So it's a very basic, very ultra light, ultra thin. It's actually not that light, but it's uh, pretty good. So let's open it up, shall we? Here we go. Ooh, it's white. It's the white one. Nice. Started right up, by the way. So you can see the keyboard deck is nice. Feels pretty nice to me. I guess they've already set it up. Uh, this is what they do a lot with these laptops. Review unit laptops. They set them up and uh, you get right into the login screen of some kind when you start them up. And let me show you something exciting about this device. Look at the size, the tiny size of these bezels. 
very little bezels and the camera is no longer at the bottom it's now at the top so this was launched at Computex last year and I've been waiting to get my hands on one uh, in 2019 Computex 2019 so yeah there you go there's the keyboard deck a nice glass clicky trackpad feels really good uh, you can see the display is gorgeous perfectly adjusted in terms of brightness nice bezel-less look and feel and yeah this is this is very impressive the keyboard feels nice um, it does have the usual things that just popped up a Dropbox setup so this is a Core i7 so now we know that this is a Core i7 so let's find out what the deal is with the settings uh, let's see what the specs are the system so it says that it has a 1920 by 1200 display and we have 512 gigabyte SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, Core i7. So they didn't skimp, they sent me a nice high-end device, which is really great. So I'm going to quit out of this and bring this back up so you can see what's going on. Again, this is a two-in-one, so you can play the dance of turning it into a tablet like this. And then it tells you, you know, do you want to use a sort of tablet mode? Yeah, sure, switch to tablet mode. And now it's in tablet mode and, um, you know, you can bring up a, a software keyboard if you'd like. It's kind of interesting. But, yeah, and then you can see it's not too bad in tablet mode. Here's the keyboard and trackpad. And of course, it disables it. And then let's switch it back. Back to normal. So that's it, folks. Uh, Dell's XPS 13 2-in-1. I'll check it out and let you know what I think. This is definitely beautiful. A little on the heavy side, but... Uh, Beautiful manufacturing fit and finish vents here. Rubber feet that are like a full length. This is a design language they've been going on for a while with and I think looks really good. So listen to the podcast to find out more. MobileTechPodcast.com on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Casts, and Spotify amongst others. Just look for it. Please rate and review the podcast. Appreciate that. Subscribe, tell your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Like this video. Click the little notification bell below and more importantly, comment in the comment below. Love to chat. So that's it. Stay tuned for more. And until then, cheers, everybody.